I'm deeply honored to receive this award of the World Food Prize. It's also an award really of the uh, entire process of genetically engineering plants and improving crops with this technology. I'm really gratified I've seen the technology develop from its early infancy to fruition the crops in the field that we see today. And it's just been an amazing, uh, amazingly rewarding thing to see what started out as a fundamental scientific curiosity-driven study to uh, a, an application in the field. This is certainly the uh, most important award that I've received. I have received several, and I'm very honored for that, but this is the biggest uh, of all of them. I think that it is, it is wonderful that the World Food Prize Committee has chosen biotechnology to recognize biotechnology uh, in this way. It's, it's clear from uh, the statistics from the uh, acres of biotech modified crops that the technology has really uh, taken off with uh, amazing speed, remarkable speed. This science is a very highly collaborative one. It is a field in which people with many different kinds of expertise have, mis uh, have had to come together to um, achieve the genetic engineering of a plant. In a real sense, the process that you use for genetically engineering a crop plant is a natural one. We learned it from nature. We learned it from agrobacterium, a little bacterium that did this before we ever discovered it. All we did was learn how agrobacterium manages to put a gene into a plant, and we copied that process. We exploited a natural process to put genes into plant cells, genes of our choice to benefit uh, the farmer and the end user of that plant. So I, I see it as a, uh, as a perfectly natural process, not a strange one at all. Of course, I have the advantage that I've grown up with this technology and seen all the uh, small steps through which we have come, but it, it seems like a very normal thing to me. When we make new crop plants by breeding, by crossbreeding, we're limited to uh, what genetic resources that plant itself has or its close, very close relatives. Um, in the technology of genetic engineering, we have a much wider choice of genes to uh, introduce into the plant cell. Another nice aspect of the genetic engineering is that we can we can choose precisely a genetic region and put that in very neatly without anything else coming along. When you do the same kind of thing by crossbreeding, in the few cases where it is possible to do it, um, you bring along extra genes that you didn't mean to uh, just in, in the process of doing it. It's impossible to avoid. So as I see it, a genetically engineered plant is a much better defined, much more precise product than what you get from plant crossbreeding. There are two aspects to uh, food security. One is having something to eat, which is the, the first priority, and the second is having something nutritious that will make your body grow and become healthy. I think that uh, biotechnology, genetically modified crops, can contribute in both of these aspects. We're going to be able to make more food for less cost, more product growing on fewer acres, perhaps on uh, acres that are not particularly uh, nice for normal crop plants. We can adapt the plant to grow on marginal land. That's a, a very rewarding aspect of the technology, and I, I look forward to seeing more of that kind of uh, crop improvement in the future. I want to stress the point that many, many people have contributed to the work that I have had my hands on, and I want to acknowledge the fact that I did not do this alone. No one could do it alone. This is the most highly interdisciplinary research you could possibly imagine. It takes skills from, from chemistry, biochemistry, plant protein chemistry, all kinds of different fields coming together to, uh, to make a genetically modified plant. No one could do it alone. And it is out of this kind of teamwork from the very beginning that uh, this science has grown. And I, I certainly recognize the contributions of all of my collaborators. They've been wonderful friends, and the teamwork itself has just been extremely stimulating. 
It's been a wonderful research project and it's been so much fun to, uh, to do it.